his network to attract donors and sponsors to promote and market the center and make calls to broaden the donor outreach and makes personal contributions annually himself. Uh, Mr. Diebler is a tutor, a youth mentor, English teacher, tennis teacher, and a coach. He, that's a pretty, pretty broad resume there. <laughs> he works with high school students to prepare for college and careers with college essays, resumes, dress for success, and other skills. He also serves as one of the leads for the Summer Spelling Bee Competition. The US, he is a U.S. Tennis Association member since 2001. He has been involved in hosting tournaments, teaching college tennis, and working with underprivileged kids. Mr. Leroy Diebler has led the mission team to Costa Rica for the United Methodist Church since 2004 for community building projects and has had the offer. And, and this was written by somebody else. It says, I have had the opportunity to travel with him on these trips, and I have not, but I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yes. Yes. Dana here, can you go to the door? I don't know which door he's he is. Dana. 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 Oh. Yeah, can you check on? She's here? Yeah, she which door she's in. Oh. Yeah, I'm recording. I can so let, Yeah, that one or that one. Either or. Yeah. Do you have your phone, your phone number? Call her. It says, 
The American story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us. I congratulate you on taking it upon yourself to contribute to the public good, and I'm proud to present you with the President's Lifetime Achievement Award in recognition of your 4,500 hours of service to this great nation. Throughout our country's history, the American story has been strengthened by those who combine an optimism about what can be with the resilience to turn that vision into reality. I know I'm not alone in recognizing that those who are willing to step up and volunteer in service of community and country are essential to the ongoing work of forming our more perfect union. By sharing your time and passion, you are helping discover and deliver solutions to the challenges we face, solutions that we need now more than ever. We are living in a moment that calls for hope and light and love, hope for our futures, like to see our way forward and love for one another. Through your service, you are providing all three. On behalf of the American people, I extend a heartfelt appreciation to you for your volunteer leadership, and I encourage you to continue to answer the call to serve. The country is coming. recipient unfortunately was not able to be here tonight but I wanted to tell you a little bit about him. Dr. Sammy W. Potts is a role model to the children he mentors and a champion for community service. He has served ICCD since 2009 until present. He works with the executive director to develop the organization's strategy, goals, and objective, and chairs board meetings to encourage strategic planning. His community contribution of services is broad, from the National Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation, Breast Cancer Champion Award, Night Shelters, the Salvation Army, Habitat for Humanity, ICCD Dress for Success, Board Chair, Tutor, and many other chores. Outside of ICCD, he has served many organizations such as Boy Scouts of America, Crop Walk, Youth Mentoring, Task Force on the African American Male, and the Committee on Higher Education, Poverty Alleviation Projects, the Presbyterian Church USA Committee on Racial, Ethnic Schools and Colleges, and many more. So please join me in a round of applause for Dr. Sammy Potts. Okay. Our next recipient, Mr. Charles Price is a retired senior engineer at IBM Corporation. Uh, Mr. Price's passion is seeing students use their hearts, hands, and minds learning about the world in which they live. He is an avid hobbyist and maker and enjoys sharing his fascination with science and engineering with the students he tutors at ICCD. To the kids and the homeless in Concord, known as Mr. Charlie. He gives his time to the community. At ICCD in 2021, he introduced the Aaron's Project, Let's Build Something Together, a STEM, robotic, and computer coding program that engages kids in science and engineering. He has served as a lead with other engineers and scientists in collaboration with the US DOD Youth Starbase Program involving our community that engages students through the inquiry-based curriculum with its hands-on, minds-on, 
experimental activities such as rocket building, forensics, and drone camp. Thanks to him and the other mentors, our kids are studying engineering, medicine, five in the military, and etc. Field trips to NASA, colleges and universities, Air Force bases, etc. When he is not tutoring at the center, he is serving hot meals to the community with his wonderful wife. Please, let's congratulate Charlie Price. opportunity to uh, just recognize three of these kids who I've been with for a very long time. I mean, I've, I was telling Steve earlier, I, I chased all of them out from underneath tables before when they were, you know, knee high. It's Corin over here, Russell, and then Ismail. These kids inspire me. I mean, I have seen such a dramatic change in their lives, and uh, I'm proud to be with them. You know, wherever we go, um, people stop and notice these kids and uh, compliment us. And, uh, you know, I, I've never done any management of them when we're out. They manage themselves. So I want to thank their parents, some of whom I've known for a long, long time, uh, Daisy and, and many others, and uh, for, the, for the opportunity to sit with your kids. And uh, it's, it's so much fun. It is just so much fun. Uh, I don't know what I would do without ICCD. It is a real uh, blessing to me. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you all. So 
and move the mountain, we've got her into her space. And the doctor said she has two weeks to live, and she lived three days. And so I feel obligated to step in her shoes and join the board like she requested, and I thought we have to raise money to write a grant, so that I cannot write the grant. And then I step out from my house cabinet in shadow. And so Canon Foundation said to me, if you can step down from the board and become a circuit director, we'll pay your salary. I said, I don't need salary, I'm a professor. We'll pay your salary. And I thought, they want to help us. So I step back down from the board and I become a circuit director in trend. And I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still here. Serving on the board did make it difficult for me to do a lot of things, to have the kids, to tutor the kids, to bring breakfast, to bring lunch, to go out there looking for money, calling everybody, Philip Morris, where you can have foundation, they provide it. And you know, we call you many times and we bring the kids to the to the movie in a gym theater. And I, I want to thank all of you. And and somebody just made a big pledge, you know, for us. And and so I, I want to share this information um, with you guys. We, we love where we are now. We love this place. This is the best place. The kids will come to me and say, Miss Teresa, Miss Teresa, did you see the bathroom? I said, yeah, I said the bathroom. <laughs> I said the bathroom. It's very clean. We can eat there. And the kids love this place. But we need a place that we can come home. You know, and, and, and I'm so happy that Kevin is here today. So we, we are purchasing a land on Peak School Road, 208 Peak School Road. We've done all the due diligence and all that, and it's, you know, 500, well, we, we it's 625, we offer 575, and this, the city has approved it that we can purchase it. We've done all the due diligence and everything. We're just trying to raise money to close on the land. And somebody in this room has made a pledge, you know, today. And I and I thank you all very much. There is a box there. And also uh, you know, cash app and paper, whatever you prefer. We love cash, even the one that you go, we love it. You can <laughs> and, and put it in there. We we appreciate you. So you know reach out to your friends my birthday next month, October 17th. I will be 60 years old. And I'm not gonna have a party. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna have a party for the kids, you know. But I'm asking you, don't give me a gift. If you want to give me a gift, give me five dollars, two dollars, okay, for this land. Let's purchase it and build this building. We already have a million dollar donation, but it's gonna go towards the building, not to the land. And we have some money balance from ALP money. I wish they give it to us to add to the land. And so give us some donation and help us to purchase this land so we can build a community center where the kids can come home and where the community can come. The city has approved it. It's going to be a soccer field in there and the community center. And hopefully somebody will step up and say, Hey, put my name on top of that or in that room community center and I'll help you with it. So and and, and I'm asking, you know, on behalf of the kids, they are all like mine. You know, I love them all. And if you can help us, that would be great. And so um, let's give a hand of applause to these three men. Yeah. I'm